All right, we're back. Let's see what else we got in this box of crap. Looks like a tail light. I went and looked at some of the price I paid for them stuff. Yeah, I got screwed on some of the stuff. Other stuff I did pretty good on, though. It evens out. All right, what do we got here? Tail light. All right, so this is a tombstone tail light. Original Harley one, pretty good price on this one. So there's two variations of these things. They got the rivet on license plate bracket and they got the screw on license plate bracket. So this here obviously is a, the rivet on one. The rivet one up should have guide written across the top up here, which I am not seeing. So this must be a fairly late model one. So that's another variation. It's not in there. Yeah. So that means it's probably more in, the, more in the 50s. So they use tombstones from 47 to 54. So this is probably a later one. You can tell the original when it got down inside here, which is really hard to read. It says guide, which is really, really hard to see. But it is. So this one's in pretty good condition actually. These things are all bent up. So the only ones that are screwed in, the holes are actually wider apart. So you can't just put screws in there and call the original. And the real early ones, they had guide written across here. So that's four variations I guess now. Screw with a guide here, screw without the guide. Riveted with the guide on the back and riveted without the guide on the back like this one is. So there we go, get four, four variations I know of now. They did not come chrome. That's always been redone as far as I know. I don't think they ever use it as a factory part. So and these have glass lenses in there. When you pull the lenses out, there's actually uh, numbers inside the glass in there. So anyway, so that's a pretty good one. You want to make sure these holes are all good through here. These are sheet metal, or these are uh, machine threaded in these, not sheet metal. And these here are quarter 20 in here, which gets stripped out. This one looks like it's stripped out, but it's not broken. It's got a nice sharp edge all the way around here, which is good. And like I said, it's got a nice sharp, nice straight lens on there, which is good also. So there you go. It's a pretty nice little unit. And it has a little rubber in here that's hard to come by. I actually bought break broken ones, buy broken ones of these to get the rubber. So there you go. That one's pretty nice. Stock coil. These are the old six volt coils. So there's two variations of these ones. You got the early ones and late ones. Late ones have two holes right here. Early ones have two uh, 90 degree brackets right here with two holes each. So it's four hole. So they changed this in 47 or 48. They went to this style. I think 47. Before that, they had the other one. And that goes back to uh, pretty sure to go back to 30. So 1930 through 46, and then 47, all the way up to 64, all the 6-volt bikes. So the aftermarket ones are really loosely made through here. See how this has nice tight rivets in here? The aftermarket, the big gaps in here, the brackets get loose on them. They're just made like crap. These are all soldered together. So when you see a bunch of welding or other stuff, it's no good. And as far as I know, there's no upgrades to these things. It is it either works or it doesn't. The only way you know is put it on the bike and find out. So these are full of tar in here. So the wires just push in through here, solid core wires. One goes in about this one, one goes in about this far. Coils are up inside of it. So you heat this up in uh, hot water, boiling water, loosen up the tar. You can pull the plug wires out, put new ones in there. And they have little caps up here with seals on them to hold them down. So yeah, that's how they work. Police ones have four uh, four posts on it, two here and two here. Civilian ones only have two wires. And then if you have a military one, it actually has a, um, a strap all the way around here with two little holes on two little uh, studs sticking out. So that's for your radio interference stuff. So there you go. What else? There's a late tail light. So this one here is a 55 as I recall. So up in here they have a date. See if we have a dash 55 number on it or it's going to be a dash 68. 
And the way the guts inside here are different. So there's that rubber. It's nice to have. This has the factory nuts on there. The stud is supposed to be riveted in. It's kind of swedged in there, and this one's not. It's loose. Both of them are. But it looks like it's straight. So screws look good. So this is not too bad a condition. These need to be re these need to be soldered in so they stay put. But other than that, that's a pretty good unit. Like I said, it should be 55 underneath this riding here, but hard to tell. And these were always painted. Same number right there. RH fifty should be fifty five, but kind of looks like an eight. But and here's guide over here. So I've got guide RH fifty eight. Now the lenses on here are real flat ones. They are plastic, not glass. And they have a little round button on them. Light it goes right over the light bulb. The automotive ones for trucks, like a GMC or something, the 50s. The lens is the same except the, the the spot where the bulb goes is on the other spot. One's low, one's high, and I forget which one's correct. I forget. I think this bulb sits low, so this is a lower one. But I don't remember. So the Harley one, you're gonna pay a hundred bucks for a lens, and the the aftermarket truck ones are probably five bucks a piece. There you go. Another brake drum. Once again, you're looking for cracks, heavy rust, stripped out holes. These are all good. This one has actually lugs on it, which are pretty late model. The other one did not. Early ones have no lugs on them. So these are for Springer front ends. So I'm guessing this is a replacement over the counter one that Harley made later on. And they put the balancing lugs on there. I'm guessing what those are for. I don't know. It's probably where they, it's probably where they poured the, ca uh, the casting. They have risers that go up with the fluid. The liquid goes down and it comes up the other side. That's probably risers. These ones here don't have those marks. So they look a lot cleaner. So I don't think these are for balancing. But, uh, but anyway, this is definitely a, a later one. A lot of the early ones will have uh, dates in them right there. You got 41 on it. So I wasn't sure what year they went to the uh, steel. So steel is 40 on back. So 41 is the cast iron ones came out. Or cast steel, whatever these are made from. I'm assuming these are iron. So there you go. Same part, but made different. Ah, there's a screw version. There we go. And does it have the guide written in here? If it was there, it got polished off. It's not there now. So this is the screw together one. You know, if you can read in there, guide USA, made in USA, right under it. I can make that out or not. So this is the other one. So you can see how the bolt pattern is different. A little bit over further, so that's your difference between the two two units. So you got an early one, a late one. So I'm not sure what year they changed out, but I'm pretty sure by probably around 50, 51 for sure they went to rivet style. These are probably only 48, 49. I'm, I'm guessing, but I'm not exactly sure. But probably somewhere in that area. But anyway, there's your two different ones, early and late. All these other components bolt in, so this gives me two of them here that are the same. This one I don't see the guide written on it. It's usually on this side over here. And when, I, 
when, they, when things get chrome, they take all the good stuff off. So yeah, I don't see any marks on that. So, oh well, there you go. This one has another glass lens in it, which is what you're looking for. They're not frosted, they're clear. They're frosted slightly inside of here, but not really. It's mainly just got lines through it. So you, know, you wipe it off, see it's clean. So it's not frosted. Frosted means it's real, it's like snow, it's real whitey. You can't see through it. This you can actually see through it, but it has ribs in it, so it flutes the light when it comes up. This has an aftermarket clip in it here. You can see the clip is not stock. So this one's old. This is a brand new one. So definitely made differently. All right, so there we go. We got both different lights now. Getting a lot of pairs here. Pairs of distributors, pair of lights, pair of brake drums. Got all kinds of pairs. There's a fender brace. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I was hoping it was for a K-model, but being how it's riveted together here, it is not a K-model. So this could be something off a British bike or something probably, or a Hummer or something like that. It's, it looks like a Harley how it's made through here. So it might be off a Harley Hummer, which is a little small one cylinder, two stroke bike they made back in the fifties. Well, they could have been running this all in the 60s at uh, sprints and other stuff too. So this, I don't know what it is, so I have to investigate. I didn't pay much for it, but it's definitely not what I was hoping for. It would be a Sportster part or key model, but front fender braces. So didn't get that one right. Oh well. Wrong part. This is a Harley part. Very rusty. Couldn't see that on the video. I mean the pictures. So this is the, uh, on a big twin, this is the rear fender bracket, lower bracket. This is where the chain guard goes in. So you have a bracket goes up this way. And it actually goes on the bike like this, I think. I don't remember how it goes. These are two holes for the rear fender brace, so that would have to go. It has to be this direction, but I, for some reason I keep thinking it goes that way, but it has to go this way. The bracket goes like this up that holds the rear fender and shoots up this way. So, oh well, one piece. All right, what else do we got in here? I think this might be a taillight lens, maybe. Yep, yep, that's it. So, there is the taillight lens for the uh, taillight right here. So, they go in there. So it goes in like this right here. And the way I told you, you can tell it's a genuine Harley one. See how it's got the letters right here? That's how you tell. When it's together, you can't tell, but when you take it out, you can definitely tell. So these are glass, so don't drop them. So this one here is uh, looks pretty new. I don't see any evidence of a uh, gasket material on it. So yeah, it looks pretty good. So this might be a new one, NOS. That's new old stock. Yeah, that's a nice part there. There you go, you have all kinds of taillight parts. All right, be back a second.